I really don't know where to go today because I'm kind of going with um, how um, with how um, class has been going. Not really going to delve into anything new just yet. Right. Well, let me let me let me let me share something that we went over today, kind of, kind of, with uh, my second period today. Oh, come on. Anyway, that's what, um, that's uh, just a topic sentence that we went over today. I'm not sure about, doubtless, does that make sense to you? I just, it was just something we went over with second, my second period in Calgary class today. ko. <laughs> So he was playing basketball and he he made three or a three pointer. Yeah, I don't and I don't know how to say three points. <laughs> and 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 he stole and he all and before Oh, before that, he stole the ball, eh? Or yeah. afterwards stole the ball? Yeah. I would say, I, I couldn't figure out how to say he stole the ball back after the three. Whoops, dang it. So it'd probably be like, ko ancha i, ancha i pachwia. Maybe something like that. Okay. Anai ancha or whatever. Anai ancha ipahuya. So ancha is again. Would that work also if you're saying just he stole the ball again? Not necessarily that he got it back, but he took it once before, took it again. Yeah. Or is there so a way to differentiate those? Um, it was it was just something that we went over in class. There was no, um, there was actually no, there was no um, set process. We, we the topic sentence was it That's where it started. You know, we asked. You know, I didn't. Um, I didn't. You know, give out. You know, any specific topic. And said, like, give me a topic sentence. You know, in English, and we'll translate it. So, okay. Kate's playing basketball. Well, okay, so we started there. I said, then what? Then what happened? And another one said, then, and he made a three pointer, or he made a three. I said, okay, I think this would work. And so I went, Anaku Inia Mittat. I was like, I don't know how to say point, pointer or three, three points. It's different. Can't say pointed three times. <laughs> Uh, how do you how do you mark that three points you know three scores and uh, that the anai was just thinking after or i couldn't it was just it was just getting to the point of left having them um we're trying to give them a heads up of what we're going to be doing in this in second period that um this that this this part these this last week this week and next week with this, with Nikiawe, we're just going to be doing a lot of review because roundup week's coming up and there's no school roundup. 
So everything, if I teach something, give it something new, Roundup Week, it's just all going to go in. One, it's just going to be lost and be like, what do we go over again? We were gone for all week. Roundup, or then Roundup mode. So I'd rather just, I'd just give it a heads up on what to expect because we're going to go through all these Anaku, Aoku type things later on. So, oh, yeah. um, so, um, so because of the Tamawala that being that it is, you know, that's what the term has been used for, you know, for the gym or for the play basketball. E Tamawala the shakade Niku e Tamawala Tana Kapitna, you know, something like that, even, you know, he, he, you know, he did put the ball, you know, he made the made the ball in the basket. Something like that. Another yeah. way. Just another way. No, you wanna no, you wanna act up, didn't Yeah. We used to we used to get that word kapit and a uh, kapipit mixed up. Auna kapipisha. We'd be saying that for church league basketball on Saturday morning, and <laughs> Graham would be looking at us, huh? Gonna go circle dance. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's uh, um, that was the thing where I said that uh, speed could be anything, anything. Anything round the ball said. I don't. Th I don't think the the actual football counts because it's not round. It's a it's an oblong. It's oval. Don't really categorize as a ball. Something that's round. I think we'd have to call it a pig skin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. me a buck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or not compete, I guess, since we can't call it that. Tunap Kapama. Spitting my food trying to say that word. <laughs> because soccer is a is a total kicking game. Yeah. And I've often wondered how football, the term for football, because um, it's, you know, it's a kick every now and then. But, uh, but uh, to add to add the word foot in there, you know, it, 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 I don't know if we could uh, create a word for that or if there was ever a word, you know, made for it. Yeah, it's, it's funny how those, those words are. Yeah. And how they, how the, how those words pan out. Oops. Yeah, so um, one of the things I was trying to um, get at with them today, too, was uh, understanding of the, um, you know, the second positionals. You know, when it, they're, they're, very, they're very noticeable when you're asking questions. <clears throat> you're asking someone questions. You know, that's always these parts in there. It's in there, Mish, Mishnam, Manam, uh, Munnam, Tuyainam, Tuyaunam, Shinnam, you know, all those. It's very, it's very 
noticeable in questions. We're asking questions about people. Hmm. More about you, me. Yeah, because you're sitting there. Good much, Misha. Is that, what am I doing? <laughs> no, that's, uh, as I know, we get we ask those questions of ourselves you know, a lot of times. Oops, actually, yeah, this one breaks down more. So, oops. Even gosh, it's not over there, I'm over here. What the sh oh, yeah, up here actually. Down, missing one. Mush. So beginning up here, with nush, ash, and sh. These are all forms of I. I forms. You hear them a lot, like um, inush. Inash, Inashwanisha, Mich Nashwa, I'm good. Shalao Nashwa, that's someone being totally honest. Uh, I'm lazy. <laughs> then when you hear the um the just with just the esh, the hatchek s, it's um man, I'd lot of heard it with Aush, Aush Duksha. Now I'm going home. Or chow shukwasha, I don't know. Like um, these are these are good examples. Right there, where that's right, you see it right there. After au, aush, we have chowsh. Chao Shukwasha. And now. Uh, mm. it's, it's just, um, just, these are just a couple of examples of how that, uh, where that, which is the hat check S is used in the, to identify I. Even like uh, Ashku, I think, right? Catholics, Ashku and Ashwa. Mm. Uh, it's always, uh, it's, it's, it is uh, a way of speaking of whatever that you're, you're saying or thinking. Um, it just cuts out the in or it cuts out the in. This, a schwa, you know, and it, it's it just I don't know if it's an actual like slur, but I I kind of got reminded of that way of speaking, the way my uh, scum was talking when she come around, but then yeah. it reminded me, reminded me of how I used to hear uh, mom talk, uh, Grandma Joe, and, uh, a school, a sh she was to say something. Uh, she would she would say some things in being annoyed about somebody. And Ishwana, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, just um, thing. I don't. I have no idea why he's doing that now. 
know, that it's not lining up, it's spacing out. <laughs> he, he, uh, he, pal- he palai wisha make implicit hours. <laughs> my, um, as I said, my, my computer is being dumb. <laughs> it's messing up my words, man. <laughs> but hopefully you guys got them down before they messed up that um, how, 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 how it looks those are just examples of how the, it's just the I part just um, could be just the, just the S Hachek S is actually it's one that's very another these are pretty, these are two common phrases that are used a lot when um, you know, someone's leaving they're going home they say that Ausstuchsha or they could use the whole word, you know, aunash, aunash you know, it's all it's all preference, you know, however you however you want to use it, you know. You know, teach your own. People will speak differently. Uh, you want to use aunash, aush, you know, it's fine. Same with um, I don't know. You can say chaunash, chauna shukwasha. If that helps you. Um, say it easier, say it better, and you'll gradually move on over to chaush shukwasha. And, uh, I don't, I don't know. That's 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 when I, I use a lot with my dad when he asks me questions about something. Uh, chaush shukwasha. Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm out of the loop on this one, so you just. <laughs> Now, usually the, the num, the part of you, you know, we've heard the questions, you know, Mishnamwa, Shinamwanisha, no, Manamwa, no, Manamwa, where are you? Actually, probably a, probably a more common, oops, to put it um, correctly, Manamwa, that N actually um, carries out with two different words. Manam, I mean, I, I get I get lazy and I just take out this this for writing and type and say just write one m one n or write one n or type one n just to save time. Man manamwa, and that's that's a that's a common question we hear from either our you know, our kids, our parents, our friends. Manamwa, you hear that in English a lot. Where are you at? You hear that a lot. Manamwa. So it's it's not that I'm um, I'm ch- I'm, cha- I'm changing the whole you know, spelling. It's just it just saves time on writing and typing. Mm-hmm. It's something I've I've done just to cut a little bit of corner, you know, save. On, but if that's what I really look like, the two ends. Manamwa, because you can hear it. You say it slower. But the end, that end sound kind of carries out. Manamwa. Manamwa. Where are you at? <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's uh, it goes with a lot of question words. Tunnam. Again, it would look like that. Typing signal, just write write one. Oops. I'm over here. I'm over here, computer. It's another another question. Tunnam keksha. So what do you want? What do you want? What is it you want? Tunnam kiksha. Tunnam kiksha. Tunnam. The num. It's the, it's the, what do you, it's the singular, one person you're talking to, one on one person. Right, me looking at John. Tunnam kiksha. What do you want? 
You know, I wasn't being specific. It's just, you know, what do you want? You want you want a new car? You want money? You want food? You want a new house? You know, it's a pretty broad open question. What do you want? Kind of ask, kind of asking them, answering the question with the question, or you know, asking someone. If someone says, oh, "I'm hungry." Tunam kiksha. What do you What do you want? <clears throat> so that's the that's the num portion, and this one's very common. Auna. Auna. Let's go. That's just, this is the the na in this one is the we. The we portion as a as a group here. Auna. It's, it can, you, leave, you can leave it at that, or you can add on to it. You know, it's, auna. You know, if you're, if you're talking about, you know, going back home, you use that same phrase, and tuksha, auna, tuksha, now we're going home. You tell them the group, auna, tuksha. Auna, winasha, you know, now we're going. Winasha. I'll add that in there. Oops. Auna winasha. Now we're going. Where? We don't know yet. We're just going. That's that's us. That's we. Us. That's being um, inclusive of everybody. Everybody here. <clears throat> um another one for na um, <laughs> actually I'll leave it at that one Let me add on to it. Let me add on to it. Mishnamia with them. What did we do yesterday? <laughs> so yeah, so no, that's an idea example of um, using the, the na. You see it again, that it's all, all these phrases, all these words, num, nash, na, they're all in the second place. They're all follow the first word indicating when, what, and who we're talking about. Almost like what you pretty much know, it's like tunam kiksha, what you wanting. Auna winasha. Now we going. Mishna mia watim. What we did yesterday. What we did yesterday. So what we do yesterday. Mishna mia watim. I know. Did we get kushum? Did we get polite? What do we do? <laughs> Come on, Annie, you should remember what we did. <laughs> Come on, Colleen, do you remember? Chao shukwisha. Chao shukwisha. See? That works. See? Oh. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to add in for this one. The, you know, for, I'm going to put it right here. Lakshash. I'm forgetting. But if you want to say I forgot, that's where the tenses come in now. It's already passed, already happened. Laknash, I forgot.
Lack, the word lack is um, forget, to forget. So these tenses here, I, I should have, I should explain more on that just to refresh our memory because I know a lot of times we forget that the na and ya are sometimes just the a, uh, just the a, red red a is past tense. The ya is used a lot, is actually used when, you, when, the, when the word ends with the e sound. Like um, dakshi, you know, dakshi is to wake up. We say woke up, dakshia. So if you say I woke up, dakshiash. We say I woke up at, I woke up at, I woke up at seven this morning, dakshiash. And uh, sinui, sinui is always a, always use that as a good example for um, for using this word using the the why the 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 word sinui is to talk or to speak. So if I say sinuisha. That's that would be in the now, that would be what talking. So if I say past tense, what would it, uh, say sinuia? What would that be? What would sinuia be? Anybody? I spoke. Would that be the past tense? It would just be spoke. It just sinuia. I didn't say sinuiash. It would be sinuia. Spoke. But if you say sinuiash, that'd be I spoke. Mm -hmm. So the ya, yeah, so if it ends with an I, use the Y past tense. I'll be speaking in the past. In my past. A lot of times when we when we when we, hear, when we um talk, it's always it's always in the past, tell stories. You no, know, we went did this, we went did that, I did this, I did that. So example right here, Mia. The word me is um uh to do. Also to do. It's like ku. You no, know, mish mishna kusha or kudna. Mishnam kudna. And use it that way. I mean, that's a whole. It's a whole different part. Part of do. What did we do? Almost like what did we work on? What 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 what, what, what project were we doing? Mishnah kuna. And no, the this the uh, Mishnah Mia should be to be changed also to Mishnah Wimia. And I can't, I can't remember what the whole, the with me, we part is with that. I think it's like to be doing things that we has a distributive meaning to it. So it's like not just doing, but doing more than one thing. Hmm. Yeah. So if I remember right. Yeah, I'm. I'm still. I'm still learning how to how that how that how that part of the word is used. Adding that in there, we. I know it's kind of like going on. Like it might be part of using the we are, like we are Tima. You know, going along typing, going along writing, we are Tima. When I put the word word is uh, for text. We are Timat. Because you can go along and text, text or type, write when you're going along, walking, walking on the hall, and texting away. So that's uh, we are timat. We are timat is a text. So just to add a little side note there, let's add that up there, just, just so. It, we are timat. There's a word for uh, texting.
Now this ma, the word the ending mush mush is uh, mainly your it's it's you but it's mainly what um, belongs to you it's your possession like man mashwa uh, this was a classic one we grew up with as kids our grandma was always on our on our case about it. Especially winter time. Man mashwa kapu. Man mashwa kapu. Where is your coat? Man mashwa kapu. I was. And it's. It gets used in different ways too. Um, oops. Like mish, mishmash, mishmashwa. No, it would be um, asking, do you have? No, it's. Be uh, that do you have Mishmashwa? No. Mishmashwa Khachai. Do you have money? Mishmashwa Kusi Kusi. Do uh, you have a dog? Mishmashwa Kitis. A cat. No. Mishmashwa Kusi. A horse. No, those, those types of things. No, asking about asking now, uh, Mishmashwa, do you have do you have this? Do you have that? No, Mishmashwa. I'm not I'm really not sure we're, we're actually to go with them yet, just yet. We're st still feeling them out. Should we shall we go with the alphabet? Should we because we just went right into introductions yesterday? No. Um, we went through all the different phases, you know. Um Inashwanisha, Wanishash. Um Wow, kunis, ni pachwai, those those type those basic greetings of that that even um, I was sharing that we had that the word in in the books we have ni ni sat um different different speakers say it differently. I got nothing against it. You know it's. It's how that's how they how they talk. You know, like um, I, I made the made the obvious ob observation yesterday. That's how that's how Fred says it. And how I grew up, it's with the S in front. It's the same thing, it's just how people speak. You know, the night. Satpa at night. Sat, same thing. It's the same word. It's just how how different people speak. It's just how I've heard it with the s sound in front. Sat. I don't know. It probably, it probably came from maybe we had a stuttering stuttering grandpa or grandma back then, and just kind of that's just how they said it back then. <laughs> this is how this is how your grandpa, your great grandpa, used to say it was sat. Maybe it was stuttering. I don't know. <laughs> But those are two forms. But um, saying it that way, you know, actually say it, you know, it works with good morning. You know, and uh, good evening, you know, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. When I get to the night though, it's, it, it just doesn't, doesn't come off as when you're, what are you trying to say, trying to mean, uh, somebody, okay, good night. Which is, it, to me, it sounds like you're, it just sounds like you're describing the night. The night's good. So that, I'm not saying it's wrong. It just, it just sounds different to me. Because um, our, our grandma, she wouldn't say good night, you know, literal good night to us. Kids growing up.
She would say that. Or That's in the morning. Mais is um, tomorrow. That'd be uh, any time tomorrow. But my my is uh, being literal about when when, in, when tomorrow will be the, in the morning. So kino tamash my That's how it's with, uh, that was her form of saying good night when uh, we when we're going to bed. We we tell her you know good night in English. Good night. We should say this back to us. Kino tamash my and she said it so much. She said it. She said it. Said it to us so much that we've actually picked. You know, start saying it back to her in that form, understanding. You know, you know, know what that meant. And then we start telling her that. We'll give her a hug. You know, that much my But we start saying that. So that was that was a form of good night that we that we grew up with, saying or telling someone good night. I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you tomorrow. And that's where the that's where the mush comes in again. The mush, that's you. It's mainly just just you. Just it's to you. Because we've all heard the term um, atawi shamash. Atawi shamash. You no, know, I love you. That's directed at one person. It's, it's, it's you. you know, I, I can't remember the explanation why, why, why it's that way because I've always thought that mush was always your. You know, where's man mushwa? Where's your man mushwa timash? You know, where's your book or where's your paper? Man mushwa, uh, man mushwa ifla. Where is your mom? <laughs> so in addition Fine. to that, I think it has a lot to do with what type of verb it is. In these cases, these are where something is happening to you. You'll be seen, you're loved, as opposed to you doing the loving. What yeah. if you wanted to say, you love me, instead yeah, of I love you? Yeah, it's, that's, that's, that's what I mean. The, what, what is, um, how do you say it? Yeah, asking that um um like I think that would be like um almost like on the question part Mishnam Mish go. Mishnam at like Mish Mishnam Mishnam at Shash Do you love do you love me? <laughs> Mishnam at Shain do you, do you love me? No. <laughs> Why? How come you ask a question you don't like the answer to? <laughs> but yeah, it's it's that's just that's just it's just something I, I I wondered on too. Like I I can't I because I asked this question before of um the speakers and my parents. Why can that be? Can you can you turn the mice? No, it's it, it does make sense, but it just doesn't work, I guess. You're trying to use it. Uh, it's just more linguistic terms. I'm not I'm not that <laughs> I'm not that well versed in linguistics yet. You no, know, the the ins and outs and the correct terms. Like, this is how I heard it. <laughs> and I still question a lot of things. But Kino Tomash Maitri, that's the mush part. It's um, mainly you, I like the same. Like he was saying, it's your possession. It's you, you that we that we like that we we want to see. I want to see you in the morning. I'll see I'll see you in the morning. <clears throat> so that's that kind of covers the mush part. All that mish mushwa, man mushwa, shin mushwa. So like shin mushwa, shin mushwa ayat. Who's your who's your woman? Who's your wife, actually? Shin uh, Mashwa. Um, 
Shin Mashwa Katla. Who is your grandmother on your mother's side? Shin Mashwa. Shin Mashwa Khatwai. You know, bringing someone new to, to your, you know, bringing a visitor to your family function or any type of doing out of friend. Shin Mashwa Khatwai, who's your friend? Shin Mashwa Khatwai, who's your friend? And, yeah, and, and it's funny that a lot of times I've only heard this term mush. It's um, mainly a lot of question, question form. Uh, I haven't really, no, other than Kinutamash Maitri or Atawi Shamash, I have really, I haven't really heard anything more than that other than these in questions. Not saying that it can't be used. I'm just. It's just how. It's just how I've heard it a lot regularly. You know, Man Mashwa, where's your? Where's your this? Why? When? When are? When are you leaving? When? When? When's your? I am. When Mashwa? Um. Um. When Mashwa? Tuta. Winata. And when's your dad going? When's your dad leaving? I going on a trip. Moon mashwa tuta wanata, who mesh moon mash tuta wanata. Do you need the wa? Yeah, 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 actually, yeah. Moon, moon mash tuta. Moon mash wanata tuta. Actually, I'll be sound more correct. <laughs> When was when at the tuta? When's your dad leaving? When's your dad going? Damien, just to follow up on the nam versus mush, what about if you were going to say something like, "I'm going to hit you if you don't behave," because I'm no, I won't tell you what I'm thinking. <laughs> Sorry, there, there are probably better examples, but that's the first one that comes to mind. <laughs> that's actually a good example yeah you know it's i've i've been i've been i've been told those words before did they use nam or mash it was actually um num walsh tanam walsh tanam vaishnam vaishnam um uh, kushum, kushum, I hit you. I might, I might hit you if you, if you, if you act crazy. If you'll act if you'll if you'll act crazy. I'm gonna hit you. Yeah, I think that probably it probably gives a good example. Maybe that probably helped a lot. Um, um, on that that the action is towards you. you no, know, while spending them. It could even, uh, going back on, even, even on the numb part, those um, terms could be like, um, used as questions where you wouldn't really have to use the Mishnam, you know, Mishnam Tkotasha, are you eating? Mishnam Winasha, are you going? Mishnam or Tunam, you know, all, the, all these things that, uh, that, um, if you were to say, oops, send me tanam. You can you just leave it at that. You don't really have to add the question part in it that you would, um, you know, it would, it would imply in there. Send me tanam. Are you going to speak? Gonna talk, or will you talk? It depends on the whole situation. Simi tanam, or this is a good one.
never never get those um, siblings that would do that to you grow, uh, growing up, sharing a bed, sharing the same bedroom, tap you on a sleeping good. Are you sleeping? <laughs> Not now. <laughs> But in Chushanam, are you sleeping? That the numb using that on that part, you know, a lot of these times that um, you know, we just use using that form would be, you know, you, know, you can either tell someone that Sinwitanam, you know, you're gonna speak. Or Sinwitanam, you, know, you got that asking in the question form. Uh, your voice changes from sinwitanam to sinwitanam. You know, same with same with uh, are you sleeping? You can say in chushanam, uh, you're sleeping. Yeah, you have no you have no say. You're sleeping. Uh, abracadabra, <laughs> sleeping. Or in chushanam, you know, you're sleeping. That makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, I, I forgot to mention that about the, about that. That um, it, it's just grow, growing up and, and, and learning to use it. You can um, short, shorten it down from Mishnam, Mishnam Kwatasha, what are you eating? To Kwatashanam, you know, to being, being direct about it. There's, you see a bunch of fruit there, a bunch of food there. Kwatashanam, you know, like in a buffet. You know, Kotashanam, um, uh, Tamam, are you eating eggs? No. I know a lot of a lot of things that um, a lot of a lot of the examples I use is always revert back to Kota. All we do is eat. People always do is eat. Kota. <laughs> it's always our. I say it's always our medium. You know. We get we get together on over meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Quota. Any questions so far? Any questions? Questions? Any question about anything? No. no? Okay. <clears throat> and pam, pam was a was a was the other one that was in there that was listed. Pam, and that one. Um, Oops. That one has, um, I would say, have more than one meaning. I've heard different ways of of, of what that means. Um, one I've I've always thought it was so mainly was you all. Um, um, it'd be like. Uh, Mish Mish Pamwa, no, how I thought it was uh, how are you all? But then there was another one. Another another one I was told was it was like they or them. Mish Pamwa asking someone how are they? How is them? You know, if you're asking someone, you'd be like you're like you're talking and you're talking about the third party. Mish Pamwa. I guess I probably. Just depends on context, maybe. You know, on the on the, what on the topic of how you use it. If I was sitting there using the class, mish mish pamwa, ask maybe asking you all, or if I was asking, let's say I'll I'll, I'll be asking Colleen about Annie and John, mish pamwa. You know, how are they? And um, another one you hear you hear it on a lot of lot of names actually a lot of names uh, people's name Indian names bum um, yeah you know, bum uh, people call themselves that um, like myself I uh, use a uh, kamish bum or even uh, say nechiawe bum uh, it's referring when you use, when it's used that way in that form. You're saying you're a person of the area. That was going to be my question because it comes up in like Walula Pum. So yeah. thank you. Yeah, it's uh, a 
per person of that area, Walulapam. Like Wal Walulapam means Sinuit, you know, the, the Walulas people's words. And there's a lot, a lot of people's names have that. And um, I have a couple, I had an aunt, she had the name Ayunashpam. And uh, there was a place up there behind Ma Adams, between Ma Adams and uh, Mount St. Helens called Ayunash. And uh, she was born there in the very, very uh, Huckleberry time. She was born there, so they gave her the name Ayunashpam. And that's where she was born. She was a person of that area. And um, I, had a, I had a dog. I called him Aswan Pam. He was a he was a he was a he was a mixed runt runt dog and he was a little short. So his mom was named Kasi Pam. I don't know. I can't remember what Kasi was, but Kasi Pam. So I kind of oh, okay, just take after his mom. Take his mom's name type name. So Aswan Pam. He's, a, he's of the little boy little boy tribe, little boy people. <laughs> so. so it was just it was just a fun name to give him, but that's what the pum indicates on a on a person's name. They're um they're of that of that area, that region, or that that type of people. That Walula Pum. Someone could even have that name too, you can take that name, Walula Pum, and be a person of Walula. So that's um that's how that one works. You know, I've just, um, you know, Mishpamwa. Mishpam, Misha. What are they doing? That's how, oops. Uh, what are you all doing or what are they doing? You know, again, I think it just depends on context and how it's used. No, writing out, writing it out this way it, it helps out on this. You no, know, see the difference in how it's used, because a um, lot of lot of them will will look at it and think you're saying it like this. Like that, mish pamisha, when the, at the whole the whole question changes. Now you're asking, what are they doing? So, having it like that to understand what, what you're getting at, you know, writing it in typing or writing it down, it just shows that what, what's being asked, how it's being asked. Just want to confirm, you are saying Mishpa Misha could be either how are you all doing or how are they doing, and it's just yeah. Mishpa Misha. Mishpa yeah. Okay. They, uh, you all or they or them. Mishpam Misha. No. What are the, What are What are you all doing? Or what are they doing? But, uh, yeah. Mishpam. So pam. They. You all. They or them. As far as I understand, definition or person of that area. Nikyawe pam, Kayus pam, Hautmi pam, Kmish pam, Talil, even Talil pam. Maybe a person of Pendleton, the name of Pendleton, Talil, Talilpa, Talil means uh, little cliffs, little cliffs. So that's, a, that's the City limits, city of Pendleton, Talil. Nikhiawe um, Pam is this area where we're at right now, where this, where this whole Midwar mission is. It's actually Nikhiawe, um, the name of it. Shishna Mishpam is up there on the flats, the other side up there, up here, uh, other side of um, other side of the freeway. Going south towards Pilot, going south towards uh, Mackay Creek, a whole flat area, Shishnamish. Get out there south, further south, got Mackay Creek, Houtmi, it's a Houtmi Pum. 
So that's just how that palm works. I'm a person of that area, a person of this area. Like you say, I'm a person of Nikhawi. You can say, um, NCS Pam, I'm a person of the Nikhawi Community School. And how that works. So, let's see, then we have. Yeah, I was ready to Natash. Natash. That's the um, exclusive. You know, it's, that's us, but not you. I kind of like to have fun. I, when I found out how that works, kind of had fun with it. That um, it's almost like like the like the um, bratty bratty kid. Is it end because it starts with N A? It's us. We did it, but you didn't. So nah 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 nah. I got to do it. You didn't. Type of thing. So not the sh like um when when. Or it even breaks down to just the atash or dash, like winatash. Winatash, um, uh, Oregon State Fair Yow. So ha, yeah. we 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 got we went to the we went to the fair. You didn't type thing. That's how that how that works. It's a it's a us but not you. How, how that not dash works um yeah it, it mainly it uh, mainly gets used a lot when you're telling the story about maybe something that you did with your family function some things that you did you're telling the story about things that we saying that we did we went here we went there we did this we did that because um if you use the the na we you're including everybody that's in the room but I was like, no, I wasn't there. It was, that's your story, not mine. I wasn't, I wasn't at that place. <laughs> I didn't go with you. But that's where this, that's where this Natash would come in. Natash, Atash, or Tash. I'll break down to that. When that Tash, we, we, when, when, yeah, with when the when the natash, I think that would um, look like this. When uh, natash, that's uh, we went. When well, we can say, yeah, when when a not when uh, when uh, not when a uh, not dash, you just take use the dash on there. Where it would um break down to like that. Winna being the base word. Then the na on there would um, imply the past tense, went, then tush. So this is what the breakdown of, oops, so the breakdown of the word would look like. Just so that would um, help understand what that, what that looks like. Win na, na tush, we went. That makes sense. That makes sense. And uh, you might run into texts, maybe some recordings that we'll hear. You hear a dash. You hear that on there. Most of the time, they are talking about their 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 life story, things that they did as a family. We did this. We did that. That's what that's referring to. Uh, story time. When they, uh, tell me a story about uh, about your life growing up here or what you ceremonies that you did and you'll hear them talking and saying uh, kut, kut, kutash 
you know, and we, we did this, we did that. Then we have this last one here. Matash. And that's you all, but not me. But that's the case for Pum as well. Mm -hmm. Is this the one that's more like Mosh, where it's you alls's? Yeah. Okay. A good, a good example of that one is the word uh, atawishamash, right? Atawishamash. This is a this is a a big pet peeve of my dad's. That um, he would hear people talk and they end their end their speech and say atawishamash. And I, and we know that as I love you, we get what they're trying to say, but then we sit there and look around and so the whole speech was directed at one person. Who do they love? Who is it? But uh, what they're trying to say, I love you all. I'm talking about everybody in there. So it would be Atawi Shamatash. And you can use that too in the question, Mishmatash. Mishmatash Winata um, Schoolyao, Maisk. Are you all going to school tomorrow? Mishmatash. Man Matash. Man Matashwa um, Timash. Where's y'all's books? So yeah, I'm almost on the terms of mush. So yeah, I'm still trying to still understand, trying to understand the working of pum and matash, how they, how they work hand in hand. Mm -hmm. I think pum and num are more like a like a casual type thing that mish namwa mish pamwa. If that if that kind of helps out on that understanding that matash and mush are kind of go hand in hand as you know your your ownership your thing that belongs to you you all. Mush is one person, singular to you, man mashwa, uh, man matashwa, man matashwa kapu. Where's your, where's your, where's where's y'all's coats? That that makes sense to help out on that one. <laughs> and yeah, I'll I'll get I'll get more information, more um information on on those two because yeah, it does does tend to get confusing. Sorry if I sorry if I did that now. <laughs> Apologize now, but um, it's just getting back to understanding of these uh, second positionals. You know, sometimes we do um, get lost, especially with na. Some people get lost with na. It's like I thought na was past tense. It's all. It's if it, you hear the last na in it in the action, that's referring to we. Like he was saying, like we like. Winna is go. Winana is went. So if we say we went, winna nana, a bunch of nas in there. Winna nana. Winna nana. So that's we went. So I kind of be hard for someone that stutters. Winna nana. <laughs> So who's all these wees? <laughs> I have no idea. Everybody was there. We were all there. We were all there. <laughs> but to understand what na is inclusive, all that's there, whoever you're talking about. 
like us here, no. Be Annie, John, Colleen, myself, it's all, this is we, no. Um, like, uh, you know, like say, um, it, it, uh, you know, we are, we are studying this language, you know, be all of us, even myself, you know, I may be a teacher, but I'm still learning myself on a lot of these things. Because, um, I understand what they're saying. It's just, oh, I have a hard time, um, um, defining it, explaining it. Myself, you no. Know, how do you? How would you translate this? I would try to find the simplest translation as I can. And pum, yeah, pum is freaking very confusing, very confusing, especially with pum and matash, na and natash. Na is everybody we. Natash is us, but not you. Matash is. You all, but not me. Same with pum. It could be you all or them. Or they. Them, pretty much. Really, them. Pum, them. How is them? Mish pamwa. How is them? How are they? Or you could uh, say, if you want to get to that point, um, how are they? Mish pawa. Question, question, question. We got less than one minute, so I hope this was informative. Yeah. So you come back Friday, 11 o'clock. And we'll continue on, and I'll see if I write, write on my whiteboard. This is thing bugging me now. I don't like that. It, it changes my words. So I'll be on my whiteboard. So if that's all, thank you guys for being here. We'll continue on. Guys, have a good day. Eat out. Yeah. Play much, Kinita. Eat. Eat out.